hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when i record when i release a video ha, when i record yeah. when i release a video <laughs> anyway guys welcome back to my channel this is another episode in spiritual sunday um as you well know i have been away on youtube for at least a few um for a month and i've been back now for a few weeks so i'm now getting back into the group of spiritual sunday so today i'm just going to encourage us with um the power of thanksgiving so that's our topic today the power of thanksgiving um so yeah um, we're just going to talk about the power of Thanksgiving. I do have my notes on me, so if you see me looking down, it is because I am looking at my notes. So, yeah, um, do you know the patient money while I look down and you know get my notes and get my thoughts together? So, anyway, guys, um, the power of Thanksgiving. I'm going to define what Thanksgiving is. So, Thanksgiving is defined as the expression of gratitude and everything, um, especially to God. So that's um, Oxford Dictionary. So as Christians, you know, as children of God, we are instructed to give thanks to in everything. Um, as it says in the word of God in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 18, which says in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So, you know, we need in whatsoever situation it is we need to be thankful to god whether you're going through hardship trials whatever it is give thanks to god when you when everything is good give thanks to god when everything is not going the way it's supposed to be give god give thanks to god in everything in everything you do give thanks to god you know it's it's so easy for us to be thankful when things are going well and so difficult for us to be thankful when things are not going the way we expect them to go to be but at the same time we need to learn that when things aren't going the way we expect them to be god is doing something god is working for greater things to happen that is why we need to give thanks every time whenever it is we have to be thankful to god and we have to give thanks to god no matter what it is give thanks to god when it's you know joyous and everything just give thanks when it's sad when you're feeling sad or whatever it is when you're going through hardships difficulties give thanks to god like if you guys remember a while back i said that you know work was just on top of me everything was just on top of me you know but I remember to just be thankful to God and everything worked out itself and everything just you know made way and God made a way for me and you know just you know remove some stress and everything so we gotta be thankful to God okay we gotta you know remember that he's there and he will continually be there no matter what we're going through whether we've got so many things going on around us he will always be there okay sorry guys I'm just reaching for my tea because it's winter season and it's cold so I'm just gonna have a sip of my tea. Tea break. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get back to it. So yeah, um, whatever it is, be thankful in everything. Be thankful. Um, so give thanks to God in everything. First, first Thessalonians five eighteen, the verse that we read. So simply just demonstrates to us that we need to give thanks in all things. It provides us with the opportunity to prove our faith in God when we're going through challenges and you know we're saying god i thank you because i know i have overcome this god i thank you because i know you bring me through this we are showing god that we are that we have faith in him we are showing god how strong our faith is in him we're showing that we know and we believe that whatever it is we are going to come out on top you know so that is why one of the reasons we also give thanks okay and it also gives us the opportunity to draw nearer to God when you're giving thanks to him. So when you're feeling down or anything, just get on your phone, start singing to God, start, you know, playing your praise and worship, start singing to him. I do that sometimes and I find myself that, okay, let's say I've been feeling down and I get my phone and I just, you know, go on YouTube or go on to my Apple Music and everything and I just, you know, play music and everything like that. And I start singing and, you know, singing worship, praise and worship and everything. My spirit gets lifted 
it gets so lifted that before before i know what's happening i'm already like happy i'm already like yes thank you jesus Ooh, you know so it draws us nearer to him because that time that you're listening to music you will go through some things like i'll be there listening to music and i'll be like oh we worship you you know all of that everything and then i'm in another realm i'm like on a one-to-one -one with god and that's when i pour out my heart and everything to god so it definitely draws us nearer to god when we give thanks to god it allows us to also remove the focus from ourselves and place it on god which then provides room for the holy spirit to work in our life which is why i said when i'm listening to music when i am down it gives the room for god to and the holy spirit to do but that's just for me what the what my the way you might connect to god is different one of the things i've noticed for me is through music and that's the way you know god can't like the holy spirit ministers to me and everything um but like i said that's different for everybody the way you communicate with the holy spirit the way you communicate with god, with the father with the son with the holy spirit is completely unique to yourself okay it's unique to everybody so you need to first establish the way you know you communicate the way you hear from god himself so you need to establish that um so yeah i'm just gonna go through like a few reasons why we need to give thanks you know some of the powerful things that you know thanksgiving does in our life when we give thanks to god so i'm just gonna quickly read through them and um just encourage us with it um so one when we give thanks it opens those opportunities onto us so when we give thanks and you know god says we're thankful for what we have he will be able to bless us with much more as long as it is within his will for us and he knows that when we do have that thing whatever it is it was it will not take us from him so he opens those opportunities for us um in the house of god and in like workplace you know physically and spiritually so you get what i'm saying two it strengthens our faith and our dependence on god for provision okay so as it says in the word of god in philippians 4 9 it says and my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus okay so that just says you know the you know god will open those opportunities god will you know provide for us according to his riches in christ in christ so you know it will provide and give us and provide provision whatever it is we're lacking god will definitely provide for it so never feel like you're lacking something because what you need at that particular moment in life god has already provided for it so don't ever feel like you're lacking something okay because god knows what you need he's already provided for your needs before you even ask for them another powerful reason why we should give thanks to god is um keeping our lives clear of darkness so if we look at um you know romans 1 um verse 22 it says because although they knew god they did not glorify him as god nor were thankful but became futile in their in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened so because they did not give thanks you know their hearts were darkened and everything and you know so we need to be to give thanks because it, it shows that we are in the light and we will continue to be in the light so let us continue to give thanks and you know praise his name worship him begin just continue to thank god you know be, be thankful for everything you have what you have some might not even have it others don't have it some don't some might not have it but you have so many reasons to be thankful every day you wake up you have something to be thankful for for waking up you have you have to give thanks for waking up you know you did not wake up by yourself god woke you up because it still requires you to be on this earth god still requires you. he's got something for you he's got something planned for your life so god wants you to be on this earth that's why you woke up okay you're not the one keeping yourself you are not the one keeping yourself only god is keeping you so that's one reason you will have to be thankful that's enough that's one reason to be thankful for 365 days that's so that you've got one reason there to be thankful every single day of your life not to talk of all the stuff that's going to be happening in your life that you got reasons to be thankful for but that's one reason for you to be thankful every single day of your life okay and like i said it brings us closer to god and draws us nearer and get 
Thanksgiving has the power to bring great joy and break the power of the enemy. So, so if we remember um, the word of God, Jesus, in the word of God, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead by giving, by giving thanks. Okay. And this broke joy and also break the power of death. Okay. Bracket enemy over Lazarus. Okay. So true praise and thanks and everything you know god raised um jesus raised um lazarus from the dead and everything so it it thank you know when prayer does not seem you know prayer is important the same way prayer is important is the same way thanksgiving is important the two go hand in hand you need to have both you need to be keyed in into both for you okay so you the same way you're praying the same you gotta be thankful as well you gotta give thanks okay because you know when god blesses you and you you're not thankful then why why would god continue to give you would why would god continue to bless you more and more and you know open doors of opportunity it is human you know when you do something for someone and they don't say thanks you would be like why are they not why are they not saying thanks it's you know custody for you to say thank you for you know i did this for you so why are you not saying thank you that's the same way you know so if god is blessing you and you're not being thankful for what he's doing in your life then i don't know you gotta you you get what i'm saying so you just gotta you know continue to be focused and i hope you're blessed with the i think i gave five reasons or four reasons of like the powerful reasons why we need to be thankful to god and i hope you're blessed watching this video and i hope we will you know have the boldness and the courage to you know be thankful to god from now on and you know just begin to you know be thankful and begin to appreciate everything you have in your life um that God has blessed you with and God has you know given onto your life or into your life and into your family and everything and for your friends and for your work you have reasons to, to be thankful for your legs you have reasons to be thankful to be able to use your hands your fingers move your fingers everything you have so many reasons to be thankful you know to for your family you have reasons to be thankful so you know there's so there's you can't say you don't have nothing to be thankful for you have every single thing to be thankful for i know it's been like a shortish video um short video and everything but it's fine um i hope even though it's short i know you've been blessed um so you know we thank god and everything um so thank you so much guys for watching this video like i said i hope you've been blessed watching this video and i shall catch you in the next future sunday bye